G'day Jaffa Adventures, Terry King here. Welcome to the channel. Now if you're like me and a lot of people out there, you may have a lot of little annoying things that you've always wanted to do on your car, but you've either never had enough time to do anything about it, or you just couldn't be jacked. And if you follow along on the channel, I had one of those with the cable track on my fridge. And this is what I'm talking about. So all fixed up now, we got a beautiful cable track hidden away, and it's not interfering with anything. Now sorting that cable track out, that was in a video that I shot a few weeks ago, so be sure to check that out if you think that might be of interest. So back to the problem at hand, those annoying little things that you never get around to. I've got another one that's been bugging me, so let's take a look at that. Now I've got a couple of 12 volt outlets here at the back of the car, and I use those to charge up my drone batteries, the GoPro, my iPhone, that sort of stuff. And it, there's just crap here all the time with sort of plugs and cables and stuff. The other thing that I use these for is I plug in my travel buddy and I've got a Ryobi 18 volt charger that plugs in there as well. Now all this stuff that I've got here is just messy and annoying and it's time for me to do something about it. And that's what this video is all about, sorting this crap out. So come along on the journey, let's see what I've got in store for you and for me. So there's the switch panel that I intend using. Here we've got a cigarette plug. Here we've got a USB and then obviously a volt gauge and all of these switches that are going to be used to control the various charging stations that I've got. Now if we have a look at the back of the switch panel, it's not wired up ideally. So you've got individual power wires that run into these three top components and then you've got the power running to the switches from each of these individual feeds. Now I'm going to be putting a lot of amperage through some of these. So for example in the cigarette lighter, if I hook the travel buddy up to that, that's going to be pulling 10 amps. And then if that is shared between another two components off of the switch, it's probably going to overload this entire unit. So I'm going to have to rewire the back of this and I'll run individual power feeds into each of these. And for those things that take too much current, I'll hook up a relay to them and use a relay so that I don't have to worry about overloading the circuit. So that's what I'll end up doing now. We'll rip the switch gear apart and start to rewire it. So my original plan was to build a box out of some timber, but I've decided instead to go down this route. I got these little suckers from J-Car. I think what I'll do, is I'll just glue two of those together. That'll allow me to mount my switch panel and all the rest of the stuff that I want to mount. And then I'll just cover it with some marine carpet and screw that to the back of the car which is a pretty good solution for me because I am crap at timber work. So on this one, for example, I've already cut that out. Just got to clean it up. And that switch panel will pop inside of there. This switch panel will mount in here like this. Just like that. And then I'll run all this wiring to the relays where I need it and then to the accessories in that second box. So we'll have our switch panel here. That's our BVM712. That's the charger for the GoPro batteries. I'll have a point coming out here, a charger for the Mavic batteries, and that's the charger for my Sony. In terms of switches, cigarette, which is for this 12 volt Marine, the Mavic battery on off, travel buddy, which is in the car, Ryobi charger, which is in the car, the Sony, which is here, and the GoPro, which is here. There's also a couple of USB ports in this switch panel as well. So that's the plan. Let's make it happen. And that is what she's going to look like finished. I've got a couple of holes cut in each box to allow wires to get from one side to the other. And here I've made up some two-part epoxy glue to bond the two panels together.
that's where our switch panel is going to fit when we get done. I've seen lots of guys actually build these out completely and put a switch panel across the entire window. I don't want to do that because I still want to have access to everything through this emu wing. So my intention is to have a smaller unit sitting about here, still allow me access, but also have all of my electrical controls here. So she's looking good. Let's finish this off. So we've got our box pretty much wired up now. So before I get too far along in the process, I'm going to cover this up with some carpet, some marine carpet. And the reason for that will become apparent a little bit later. Now I've sprayed some adhesive on the back of each of these batteries and battery chargers. And now I'll affix the hook part of the Velcro onto the back side of each of these units. The hook part of the Velcro simply sticks to the carpet. Beautiful. Batteries pop into the charger. So, and there's our charging station. All right, so we've got the box completely wired up now, ready to be installed in the car. And on the bottom here is just simply one Anderson plug that plugs into a hot lead, which I've got in the back of the car. These Mavic batteries, I've put a little bit of Velcro on the bottom side so that they'll actually stick here. And then I can simply plug the Mavic plug in. On here, we've got a cigarette lighter which runs through a relay, the Mavic which runs through a relay, the Travel Buddy which runs through a relay, and the Ryobi charger which runs through a relay. The Sony and the GoPro, because they don't draw very much amps at all, they're wired directly to the switches. Along with this panel comes a little volt gauge and a couple of USB plugs. And of course we've got the Vitron BVM712 installed in this spot as well. So there we've got the finished product all mounted in there. And it's bolted to the back of the cargo barrier so it's not going to go anywhere. As I mentioned, the cigarette lighter, it is run through a relay because I plug in my inverter in there and that pulls about 10 amps or so. The Mavic. That runs through a relay as well. You can see that's charging now. And she's pulling about six amps. The travel buddy, which is now on. She's pulling nine amps. The Ryobi 18 volt um, battery charger, which sits there. She's pulling about six amps. And then the Sony battery charger and the GoPro battery charger. I got both batteries loaded up in both chargers and both on at the same time. And that's pulling an amp. So those are not running through a relay. The entire panel is hooked up with an Anderson plug here. So if I want to disconnect the whole lot, I just unplug that Anderson plug and she's done. I see a lot of people that actually block this panel off and put their 12 volt charging station in that entire emu wing. I was not keen on that. The reason I put the emu wings in the car itself was I wanted to gain access to the back. So I didn't want to block this entire thing off. So this still allows me to get into the back of the car, but it cleans up all of those bloody wires and crap that I had running around that were just a giant pain in my backside. 
So now she's all cleaned up in one box. I got no plugs and wires and crap going anywhere. Really happy with how that turned out. Well, that's it folks for another one of these pain in the backside jobs that I have been putting off forever and ever. And it feels really, really good to have that done. Thanks for following along. Hit that subscribe button. You never know what's coming up next week. Keep the shiny side up everybody. Have a good one. We'll see you later. Bye now.